Hey there YouTube. So I thought um, after reading the comment left on the, um, this particular or the previous video to this regarding this little circuit, uh, yeah, you know, I, I should be probably looking at um, doing a bit more testing on it. And so what I've done is I've set it up uh, like this and I've connected a 8 ohm dummy load instead of the speaker. I've got that connected over there to the oscilloscope. And I got a one kilohertz signal over there at um, 40 volts, or 40.40 40 volts, which is probably actually quite a high for this. So that's 400 millivolts. Hmm. So I could do it loud, but just for the sake of this, we'll, we'll keep it like that. And I'm going to give it nine volts again, and we're going to just have a look and see what that. That looks like on this let's go and there we go as you can see look, the top's okay but the bottom's flattened off there and this i because i've already like had a little play around with it and we got a 1.5k resistor here because that's what's that's what's on the um the drawing and i'm just going to swap that out and sort that bottom ring out with a, a 1k resistor. So let me just change that over and we can have a look at it again then. There we go, look, I've still got carbon resistor in there, it's a 1k resistor. Let's pop it back in for 9 volts. Got our 9 volts back. And look what we got there, that's a lot better. Not perfect, a little bit on the top. Uh, I don't know whether that's because I've got too much on the bottom now. Uh, but I know that if it was on the top like that, if I just back this off, uh, with it on the top like that, if I up the input going in there, as you can see, look, that starts making that worse. But you can run this at 12 volts, this circuit, and of course, you're going to get more more bang for your box. So I'm just trying to sort the light out so I don't have so much glare. That's better. And so if I just turn this up to round about, well, if I start turning it up now, look, you can see, let me go nice, nice sign wave right there. And that's round about 11.4, well, 100 million, so that's quite a bit, isn't it? Uh, and just keep turning that up. So that's 12 volts, let's say 12.1. There we go. Okay, so I've, uh, what I've done now is I've left that resistor in the 1K, took that 1.5 out, and when it was at 9 volts, it was about 60 or 70 milliamps, wasn't it? But now look, 22, 23 milliamps. And the signal is still quite nice. And that's at 30 uh, millivolts input. On the sine wave, and even if I had to turn this up now to 12 volts, um, which I'm going to do now, let's turn it up. There we go. 0.32, and that's better than what it was with those other transistors um, at 9 volts, which is uh, much better. Of course, it doesn't do anything wrong over there. And if that is on there, I'll we'll just bring that down a little bit and then just turn it up on the input side here, look. It's quite happy. It's quite happy. The transistors don't really get warm at all. And this is I'm using now the VD140 and the BD139. Oops. So yeah, so we got the, the 139 there as the NPN and the 140 here as the PMP. Much better. And it sounds pretty good as well. And you know, it, it almost sounds like it's got that little tiny bit of extra oomph uh, base to it. But nothing, you know, that you could really go right home about or anything. But I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite chuffed just by playing around. And I'm, and I'm glad that the, uh, the chap that spoke, uh, in actual fact on the amplifier side, is give me two great bits of advice really 
uh, to play around with this more and and that's really good because I'm quite chuffed with that I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed because it's using so little power and at a 9 volt even with that extra input I'm just getting it down to 9 that'll do, yeah, even with that extra input we haven't got any problems any problems whatsoever so yeah, so I'm going to just do a little bit of a, a sound thing on it now the same music as what we had before but we've got a lot less on the power because if I remember rightly it was over 100 millivolts uh, sorry, 100 milliamps at 12 volts before with these other with these other uh, transistors these are the uh, the 2S D882 and the 2S B772 so they take quite a bit more um, compared to what's in there now which is brilliant and we got rid of that um, the, the, the clipping on the bottom but getting rid of this 1.5k and uh, sticking a 1k in there it's a lot happier and I, I just like the idea that the current drawer has gone down but now I'm going to connect the speaker and we're going to see if it's actually lost any of its uh, oomph at 9 volts again or no, just under 9 volts should probably set it to like a 9 volt battery and just give it off just above 9 volts but let's not, let's just play with it the way it is just for the minute I'm going to put the speaker on now ok so I've got my music source there ready to go and I'm going to drop a battery and give it its power so at the minute it's on 20 20 milliamps no idea I'm just going to turn off for a second because I've got no idea what they're going on about but not that it makes any difference not trying to make out what they're going on about but uh, let's put something on that needs it to sound sort of nice -ish. Now this is full blast. And remember before when it was full blast? It was like, well it was clipping wasn't it? I was saying it was ripping, but clipping, ripping. Number 14, it goes up to 15, so it's not quite full blast. I'm just going to skip it to the middle. Oh, okay. Okay, let me turn, turn it down a little tiny bit, and then I'll just find another track, because that's, uh, I thought that was actually going to have some extra sounds to it, but never mind. I can't put on too much, too popular, because, uh, um, you know, the thingy police. Turn it down. It's, 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 I mean, loud. That is, that is loud. With two speakers, I'm going to build you a channel. And I'm going to try and find. I don't think I've got another one of these speakers. Um, but I'm going to try and find a couple of speakers the same. Try and find something a bit more uh, umph to it. Oh, this one's got quite a bit of umph, hasn't it? Full blast. Down, just as, uh, and I need to say as well that these are not like um, flak tracks or anything, you know, full and lossless uh, audio codecs. Um, I think they're like 192 rips, 192 kilobits a second rips. Uh, so they're a bit rubbish, really. Not not rubbish. I mean, they're all right for doing what I'm trying to do now. But oh, this one's got quite a bit of a bump to it. But you need two speakers on it, I think. Can you go up any louder? No, it's full blast. 
<laughs> well, I decided to just add this little bit onto the end. Look, I've turned it up to yeah, 12 volts and I've connected it up to that speaker there. Um, through these like rubbish wires and stuff with like one and a half ounce resistance or something stupid on them. And why I'm going to have a little sound. Out. And the reason why I've done it like this is because I can't, even if I set up the two channels, I've, the, only one channel on this works. It knackered up a long time ago, and so I've already got that's why there's only one uh, bit going out there because only one channel works. So I can't really do a great deal, even if I set up the two channels, which I'm going to. And I'm going to put them on the PCB as a permanent fitting. I've already got two channels that work. One channel that works off my um, off this phone here. So and I don't want to the sound with this phone that I've got in my hand and the picture quality is better and everything. So I'll have to try and devise a way of sorting this out. But listen to this look. This quickly come back. Listen to this look. Oh. So that's on full blast. Right, press on full blast up, 15. As far as it go. Three more seconds. Hey, you know that is worth a thumbs up. That is kicking. That is sounds nice. It's nice and loud. It's only one channel. It's punchy. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the two channels. I'm gonna get my laptop because uh, it's not killed my phone, so it probably won't kill my laptop. I'm gonna have it coming out my laptop, and I might even because I got some flak stuff on there, and it's a good old laptop. It's a Lenovo Y5070. Um, and it will probably kick out a little bit louder than what this does. So I'm I'm quite excited. I'm an actual pet, so I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, so the next one, I'm going to have the two on the go. I'm going to have it connected to the laptop. And we're going to have some nice stereo sounds coming out because you can tell the difference, can't you, with the, the different speaker. <laughs> Okay, so we can tell the difference. That's a different speaker, it's a lot harder to drive, and this thing's still doing it. No, no heat issues whatsoever. Nothing, just just I can tell them mildly, terribly warm, but that's it. And that's it, and it's you know, just quite happy to do that. So, just as punch has got to do a thumbs up, right? Catch on the next one, guys.